Spiders that we've signed. I'm going to go from my left, no particular order. Mark Potter is already with Frank. He's a exceptionally exciting young heavyweight. And hopefully he's going to do some better things. Next to him, we have one of the superstars of amateur boxing, Alex Arthur, Commonwealth gold medalist, Scottish three-time ABA champion, won a gold medal in the World Games with it in, uh, in 1999. Tremendous prospect. Uh, a lot of people believe that he's the best young fighter in Scotland, and some people said in Britain, but uh, I'm sure there's a few people on the table who may dispute that, but we're going to find out in the future. We're looking forward to working on him and developing his career. Next to him, we have the 2000 ABA heavyweight champion, John McDermott. Some of you uh, older, older members of the press may remember his father, Stan, who was uh, quite a useful heavyweight at his time. So young John's join us, and uh, we're looking for big things with him. He's uh, managed by a very astute gentleman by the name of Johnny Branch, who's uh, involved with some good fighters over the years, and uh, we're all predicting big things for him. Next to Frank, we've got Stephen Swales, 2000 ABA middleweight champion. Exceptional young prospects, and uh, again, we're looking for big things from him, and uh, he's looking to make his mark. Next to him, we've got Scott Miller, ABA featherweight champion. Cracking little fighter. Um, Frank thinks this is the, the name that's going to be on everybody's lips as far as uh, the featherweight division is concerned. Uh, as, we, as he says here in the press release, uh, he probably may not be speaking about Mohammed, sorry, Nassim Mohammed in the future, but Scott Miller. Then we've got Peter Heyman, the uh, 2000 light heavyweight champion. Again, exceptional young fighter. And again, again, looking forward to working with him and building, helping to build his career. Then we've got behind us Kevin Lear, who's 7 0, super featherweight. Got a lot of wins already on his, on his uh, belt, and I think he's going to be moving forward to fighting for a title within the next year or so. We then got uh, Danny Percy, the novice ABA. Heavyweight champion, um, big man as you can see, so we've got two good big heavyweights here, and uh, again, maybe in the future that'll build up into be some, being some fight in the future. Over on this side, we've got Graham Earl, he's 11 and 0 lightweight, good fighter, got a good little record, and I'm looking forward to him fighting on that show. Next to him, got Danny Hunt, lightweight, 4 and 0. Did they get that lip sorted yeah. out before he fights again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, good look. Again, good young, young father, and uh, we're expecting big things in. And uh, then we got an old chap down the end there, Patrick Mullins. He's coming with us, and he's going to be fighting for a well title soon. He's going to get a couple of wins under his belt, and we're going to slip him in for a well title fight. I'm sure this time around he'll be successful. So that's everybody here. Um, as I say, I'm delighted, as you can see. I'm sure you've heard enough from me, and you'd like to hear from Mr. Maloney himself now.